what's going on you guys um today i'm going to show you how to do this uh seamless transition uh someone asked me about it um recently so i thought i'd um try to walk through it um there's a few references i have to kind of maybe explain it a little bit better um if you need some more help but um yeah there's Peach's um, perfect scale tutorial um, on his channel, and there is also Peach's basics or fixed basics tutorial. Um, kind of shows you um, similar things to what I'm going to be talking about today. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, I have my two clips here, um, they can be any length, of course. Uh, so, but depending on how you want it, I would say just adjust it to how you want it. So, um, so if you already know how to do a zoom out and zoom in, then that helps a lot. Uh, basically, so to start, um, you can keyframe and zoom however you like it. Um, in Peach's basic tutorial, he goes five frames back and keyframes it like that and then does the zoom in from there or you can have it somewhere like right here or if you really want to you can just have it at the beginning and then go um, have it end at the end but for this I'm going to have it like somewhere around here um, just to have a quicker zoom So this will be a zoom out transition. So for the first value, I'm gonna try to go to like 1.5. Um, you can go to whatever you want uh, or whatever helps. So, and just to be safe, you can put mirror edges. So you already know how to do a zoom in and zoom out. Um, and if you don't, then there'll be some videos that, um, well, the videos that I put on the screen uh, will help with that. Um, the videos by PH I just talked about. So basically the movement looks pretty linear. That's because we haven't changed the graph. So like usual, we change the graph. Uh, to smooth it out, you press S on your keyboard to select all the points, you can press Command A or Control A, depending on uh, if you are on Mac or Windows. For me, it's Command A, and uh, you got something like that. Uh, it's a little fast, so I'm gonna fix it. So now, the key and what I'm trying to teach you in this tutorial is to get each scene at the end and beginning to match up to each other or to be somewhat close. So here we're going to finish the transition, but at the beginning we're going to make the scene match. So I'll show you what I mean. So here. something like, like 12 and here you can zoom in as much as you like um, I would recommend moving the pivot point and if you need to you can move the center but uh, usually the pivot point does the job just right so pretty much the goal is just to have the scenes almost the same and that looks pretty good uh, basically you want it to be similar to each other or just about because this is a more zoomed out shot in the anime so it's not going to be completely the same because her legs are in the frame um, on this clip but they're they aren't on this clip so 
so yeah so the goal is to make them kind of match and then you finish the transition uh, it's a little fast so I'm gonna Actually, no, that's not what Peach did in his basics. He basically, at the end, uh, part of the transition did the entire clip. So, yeah, do that. So, Command A, S, and then just adjust it to how you like it. So now, we have something like this, which looks pretty good. Uh, we can uh, we can move the pivot point a little bit. So now, what you want to do is get your blur. So. In this case, uh, I would just say make it an even value. So sometimes I make mine 20 and then I'll go one frame forward just to, uh, I'll show you. So, and then I make it a different color. So 20 and then I'll go 10 and then I'll put a marker there just to get it to line up with the scenes. Uh, I find that helps a lot when I edit. So I like to use lens blur a lot, but oftentimes I use this blur. So at the beginning, make it zero, in the middle, make it something around there. Basically make it not too blurry to the point where you can tell like the transition and it doesn't just look like a regular blur transition but you can kind of tell that it's uh, like a seamless transition. Um, I also like to turn the highlights up. Uh, it just makes it look better to me. So maybe something like right there. And then for the graph, so Command or Shift, uh, Command A or Control A. And then we press S again. I often do graphs like this for that kind of blur. So something like that. Yeah, it looks good. And now if we render that out. And yeah, there you go. Hope that answers any questions or concerns uh, if you guys have any questions you can leave them in the comments um, hope you guys enjoy be sure to follow my instagram my main instagram and my photography account um, and drop a sub for me uh, soon enough we'll have to do a 300 sub special so i appreciate all of the support and i will catch you guys next time